Stiff neck, fever, confusion, it might be meningitis. Let's get you exam ready. Meningitis is an inflammation of the meninges, those protective layers around your brain and spinal cord. It's a medical emergency because it can lead to increased intracranial pressure, seizures, and neurological damage. First off, the types bacterial think Neisseria meningitidis or Streptococcus pneumoniae. It's life-threatening and needs urgent antibiotics. Viral, usually milder, often from enteroviruses or HSV, fungal rare and typically seen in immunocompromised folks. Tuberculous, slow and chronic, thanks to Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Now remember the mind me mnemonic for classic signs and symptoms, mental status change, increased temperature, nuchal rigidity, decreased LOC, muscle aches and photophobia, and emesis and seizures. Look out for other key signs like the positive Koenig's and Brudzinski's signs, plus a petechial rash, especially in meningococcal meningitis. For diagnosis, the gold standard is a lumbar puncture cloudy CSF for bacterial, clear for viral. But don't perform an LP if you suspect increased ICP, it's risky. Treatment? IV antibiotics stat for bacterial meningitis. Add corticosteroids, antipyretics, anticonvulsants, and IV fluids. For viral meningitis, supportive care is key and a cyclovir if HSV is suspected. Nursing considerations? Use the meningitis mnemonic. Monitor vitals and neuro status. Enforce droplet precautions. NPO status. Seizure precautions. Neck pain. Report it. Meds as ordered. Isolation. Temperature control. Increased hob 30 degrees. And support hydration. High yield tips. Prioritize ABCs and neuro checks. Start antibiotics immediately and always check for ICP signs before an LP. Encourage vaccinations. They're lifesavers. Remember, cloudy CSF, call the provider and start antibiotics. You've got this.